Folks, to help celebrate 30,000 subscribers, I've come out here to go fishing. And I've done something special to try to make the video better. But as you can hear, at the same time, somebody has decided to do some yard work. If it ain't that, it's a dog barking or a damn uh, fighter jet going over. I don't know. I'm going to show you what I've done. You see that PVC pipe right there? I pounded it into the bottom of the lake. All right. Right out in front of my dock. Now, what else I've done is I got a cap for it. Let me just turn the video around here where I can see. I got a cap for it that goes on that PVC pipe with a bolt going through the cap in different places. Okay, as you can see, this one goes, this one will angle the camera up, this one will be angle the camera straight, this one will angle the camera down, depending on how it is when I get out there. Well, I'm going to start with the angle straight, uh, just like this. As you can see, I'm attaching that to my remote control camera. So I'm going to go out there in the canoe. <laughs> and I'm going to put this camera on top of that pipe and aim it back at myself. And... Uh, use the remote control when I hook a fish or whatever to try to get y'all a better a better a better uh, camera angle instead of you know just watching me fish from over here I'm gonna get y'all a, a but it's overcast and I like overcast days for fishing because I hate the damn sun so we're gonna try this anyway I got a blue cup I got a bucket of worms let's try this uh, safe. I'm in. I'm in the canoe safely. Oh. Well, I wonder how many god dang trees that guy has to cut over there. Well, now the dogs are out. <laughs> Really ain't my day for videoing, folks, but you do what you got to do. For 30,000 subscribers, you, you do what you got to do. Can't zoom in too much or it goes over my head. Got to bring it back some. A little bit like that. Well, the canoe's moving. It's hard to do this while the canoe's moving. Folks, this is one heck of a, this is a comedy of errors, I, I guarantee it, trying to do this. But this is the kind of stuff that I go through to get y'all a good, a good video.
Okay, I'm recording on this one. I'm going to try to get it centered up. If I zoom in, one, two, I can only zoom in for two seconds before it's. Hopefully, the remote control will uh, reach from there. We'll find out. I, I won't be able to hear the beat. But if not, we'll just record the whole damn thing. <laughs> Let's try this. better parking backwards. Yeah, this is kind of one of the craziest things I've ever done. Well, this might be one of the stupidest things I've ever done. Remember when I tied the camera to 12 helium balloons and sent it up into the sky? Tied to a fishing reel, expecting to reel it back in after I got my video from the air. <laughs> yeah, that didn't go too well either. As the wind blew the balloons into a tree. Then the line broke and I never got my balloons or my camera back. Uh, okay, I am safely back on the dock. I wouldn't say I'm safe, but I'm back on the dock. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about me. I might need to double up on my medicine. But here we are. I've got a, uh, a large pole. In case I catch a little tiny fish, I'm gonna put him out there and just let him swim as live bait. And uh, I've also got my micro spin with my wigglers. So let's see how this goes. First, let's check the. Uh, I need binoculars to see what's going on out there. I can't tell if the thing's recording or not. Let's see if this reaches that far. Okay, folks, I've got the camera set up out there where it's going to go. It seems that the remote control works that far. And y'all can see me from there. I'm pretty sure that I got a good angle on myself. So when I catch something or got something to say, I'm going to be using that camera from now on for this video. <laughs> you see where it's at? Okay, folks, I've got the uh, micro spin set up with the worm on there. First things first. And let's just try to catch a little piece of bait real quick. Now, I'm going to be casting out of your view, of course, because I don't have a cameraman. Let's see what happens. We'll just send it over there. It probably won't take too long. There it is. Well, I missed him. Got to put another worm on, folks. I'll be right back. It must be a lot of sugar in that damn mad dog because after chugging that mad dog, my, um, I got the shakes. I real feel real, uh, sh real excited and real, I guess, anxious or something. I don't know. Hope y'all can hear me out there. So what I'm doing here, folks, is I'm using my other camera to zoom in on the viewfinder out there so I can see what it's seeing. And 
looks like I can be able to zoom in just a little bit better. Try to zoom in some. Where'd you go? There you are. Alright. We'll be back when we catch one. I got one, folks. I got one. Give me a little bluegill. There he is. Yeah. He's a little too big for bait. I think. Can't really show them to you from way out there. Oop, he's gone. Let's try that again. Got him. Oh, missed him. He done got off. That's how they do you. Try it again. He's on there this time, folks. Yeah. That looks like bait. He's little enough to be bait. Hopefully it's not turtle bait. But from the looks of it, that's what it's going to be. Because all I see out here around me is turtles all the time. I'm going to put them on this hook. Let them swim. Whoa! If he don't get away. There we go. Now I'm going to cast them way out there. Right over there where I think there's some big bass. <laughs> ain't no turtles over there. That's for sure. Now I may be fixing to hook up on a nice bass because I throwed him in a good spot. Oh, there is a turtle. As soon as that bobber landed, a turtle is going straight towards it. We'll have to get the gun back out. Well, folks, I throw my damn fish into a damn bush over there, and now I'm stuck. So, I got to uh, get in the canoe and go over there and get unstuck, or either that break myself off, which I don't want to break it off. So, I'll go over there. I'll go over there in the canoe and unhook it. I'll be back in a minute. Came in quick too. I almost hit. Whoo! I came in hard on that one. Damn, I've coming in quick and I've coming in backwards. I'm acting dangerous, folks. I'm a little dangerous. I'm a little bit dangerous. Let's get back on the dock and continue fishing. I need to get some tie down cleats for the canoe. All right. Well, that was 
fun. <laughs> Didn't think I was going to have to use this camera again to get y'all a, uh, a different angle, but I guess I did. So this is going to be a combination of cameras, and it's a definitely a uh, parade or we call a circus of errors. It's looking like rain. See if it's looking like rain. Let's get to fishing. Here it comes, folks. I got a bite. Got him. Let's see if he's big enough for bait. Uh, a little too big. A little too big for bait. We'll let him go. Still got part of my worm, though. I can do that again. Got another one. Whoop. Missed him. I pulled on it too quick. Had a fly in my ear. That's all right. Need to rehook that uh, piece of worm on there and try again. Shouldn't take long. I mean, it's that time of day. Bugs are out. It's 70 degrees, folks. December to, I don't know, December something, it's 70 degrees out here. Folks, I think I built my dock at the perfect level for my canoe. It seems to be working out really well. If you look at it, I don't know if you can see it from there, but it's, it's really working out wonderful for uh, docking and, and uh, you know, getting in and out of the canoe from, from the dock. There comes a damn plane. I'll be back in a minute. I got him. Well, I ain't got him. It jumped off again. <laughs> Folks, it's almost too dark to do this. I'm going to have to end the video before long. I'm going to try one more time. Let's see what happens. I think I got him. I think I got one. <laughs> Just another little one. Whoop. Damn, he let himself off. Those are the kind I like. You ain't even got to touch them. Let me try one more time since that went so easy. That was so fast. Folks, I'm seeing lightning to my north. Hopefully it stays up that way. That's what the radar said. get another worm on here and give it one more try. Be right back. All right, folks, I'm getting one more bite. This is the last fish for the night. Oh, I missed him. All right. He took my bait. I'm giving up. It's getting too damn dark, folks. I can't see. Plus, y'all, camera can't see. So I'm going to... Uh, close this one out as I do I'm gonna show y'all I'm gonna come get that camera I gotta come out there and get y'all yeah, yeah I, gotta I gotta go out there and get, get that camera, camera. So, so let's uh put you right there Let's go get your camera. Before it gets too dark. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass to have to go back and forth and get the camera and all that. But it might be worth it for the video. I don't know. I'll have to see when I go back to editing this video and see how it turns out. Ugh. Put that little uh, piece of PVC pipe thing I made seemed to work pretty good. 
to hold the camera steady enough. And uh, it's reachable from the uh, remote control. So let me just um, slowly bring the canoe up to it. Don't want to bump that pole and lose that camera. Get two hands on it and bring it in the canoe. <laughs> Folks, I had y'all on a piece of pipe. Y'all been sitting on a piece of pipe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's where I catch most of my little fish at right over there. And let's um, let's dock the canoe and uh, go inside and finish that blue cup that I got right there. Yeah, there's a nearly full blue cup up there. I uh, hate to say it, but it's the truth. I've been neglecting my drink because I downed that freaking bottle of freaking Mad Dog earlier and it gave me a nice little buzz. So I haven't been drinking so much. I haven't been drinking so fast. Um, I like to back the canoe in. It seems to work better if I back the canoe in to the dock. Now my piece of pipe is holding me up. Let's go this way. All the neighbors are watching wondering, what the hell is this fool doing out there today? What kind of crazy shit's he up to now? That's okay. I'll be fine. I know how to swim. <laughs> and I know how to holler. So, as long as I can dock this canoe next to my pier, my dock, I'll be good. Now I want to show you when I'm in it. Uh, when I'm in the when I'm in the canoe, this is the level of it. It comes right there. I mean, pretty much right there near the bottom of the uh, floor joist. So, if I wanted to, I could just like lean over and put that under there and that would hold the canoe in place like that you know what I'm saying or I can just lean back and bring the canoe out I mean it's pretty simple uh, and it's, it's a great level for getting in and out y'all hear that there goes the Air Force Base playing that song <laughs> 